Hi guys, it's Dr. Parth Palan here, and I totally know that there's very, very little time left for your INICT examination and your NEET PG examination as well. And so, I have decided that in this month, I'll be giving you a glimpse of my 20th notebook, subject by subject. What I'll do is that. From most of the subjects, I'll be giving you glimpse that is slide by slide of all the volatile stuff of all the cutouts which I have put in my 20th notebook. So by this, what will happen is that the people who have not really made their 20th notebook till now, they'll get a rough idea of all the volatile stuff in these videos itself. So I would like to call these the last minute pearls. So let's begin. Today we'll be starting with anat pearls. So let's begin, guys. So how we are going to go about this is very simple. I am just going to go through all the cutouts and all the slides and all you need to do is click uh, screenshots of these and put it in your folder and this is what you are going to read this month for that very subject. Like for example, last minute pearls anatomy. The first slide is of the types of joints. So this is the cutout of all the types of joints. So this I am going to give you 5 seconds to take a screenshot of this slide and put it in your folder. So names of joints, types of joints. Okay, have you taken it? Next. Now this again, containing this, uh, the types of joints, this is the sternum, manubrium, the body, the zephyr process, and these are all the joints that the ribs make with the sternum. This is primary cartilage. What the manubrium and the body make is secondary cartilage, cartilaginous joint. Then the ribs with the body, they make plain synovial and the body and the zephyr process is primary cartilaginous joint okay next again continuing the joints we often get confused in this that the radio ulnar joint and the tbo fibular joint what types of joint there that is proximal medial and distal it's it's a, it's at least for me it was very confusing so this is what i have concised for you all so proximal middle distal these are the types of joints okay have you taken the screenshot Next. Now this, this is a cutout from a uh, Chotu BDC. The Chotu BDC, this is very important guys, this is often everybody underestimates this, but this is a very, very important thing to remember. It is always asked in the exam, the types of neurons, unipolar, pseudo-unipolar, bipolar, multipolar. You have to remember this slide, this is very important. Screenshot taken. Next. Yeah, now this. This is obviously it's supposed to be read at the very last moment but this again is very important and it's very confusing as well. Like we often tend to forget this all the time. This is the, the, the connections of the parasympathetic ganglia that is the four ganglia that we have. So you basically need to remember the sensory root, sympathetic root, secretomotor root and the motor root. Okay. Taken. Next. Now this uh, guys is uh, the relationships of the kidney like what all structures cover the kidney. So this is a simple diagram to remember because I believe in BDC it's a little complicated. So this is uh, what I have drawn and the, see the, these all the shaded areas are covered by peritoneum. So once you know this diagram by heart, you will easily be able to answer any question related to kidneys like what uh, which organ covers the right kidney, left kidney and all those kinds of questions. Take it. Next. Now this is the supply, the now no supply of the scrotum and this is often asked in the exams. It's always like posterior two third ka bata, this but the root of the penis is supplied by what now. So this is a simple diagram with the nose. Okay, next. Yeah, the types of epiphysis. See, general NIT, my friends, is very important and we often uh, tend to underestimate it. The Chotu BDC that we have is very important to read. So, the types of epiphysis, you have to remember this by heart. You cannot ignore this. Okay. Next. Now, these, the nerve supply of the uh, HNF. This is very simple and it's, it's uh, you know, they, uh, this was our most important question in our NIT Vivas in first year. But this again in NEET as well, it's a very important question. Any one-liner can come. I know it is less likely obviously because clinical questions are asked these days. But you cannot, you know, miss these type of questions. Like all muscles of the tongue are supplied by 12th nerve. Except the palatoglossal which is supplied by the 
cranial part of the accessory now. So these are the four main exceptions in H and F. Okay. Next. Okay, now this is obviously the most confusing, but the most coring that is the cranial nerves, the components of the cranial nerves. So what I have done is on this side of the page, I have given off all the efferent uh, nuclei of the nerves like uh, general sensory uh, efferents muscle developing from somites these are these are the nerves okay these are the cranial nerves similarly special visceral efferent these are the nerves general visceral visceral efferent these are the nerves okay and uh, for the right side it's the afferent so it's the is you know it's, it it corresponds like general sensory efferent fifth now. and then special somatic efferent eighth one and two special visceral afferent this this is a very very confusing topic uh, and we often we often you know uh, we always tend to forget it so this I just made a this uh, this table I would say so I want you also to take a screenshot of this and remember it the same same to same you have to remember this on the last day of the exam this is what I had read okay have you taken a screenshot oh next okay so next i would just like to uh, write down a few more topics that you have to read like uh, from embryo i want you to read germ layers and its derivatives next from embryo itself i want you to read pharyngeal arches next from embryo itself i want you to read the development of the arteries okay then from neuro i want you to read all the brain stem syndromes by heart they'll give you however long they give you the you know the clinical question or whatever but once you know these like single single features like isme aisa hota hai isme contral apna ipsilateral contralateral um, the symptoms once you know it will be very easy to solve so this is uh, very important like the brain stem syndromes uh, next I would also like you to read the foramen of the skull because they can you know ask you to just uh, say the contents of this foramen what passes or maybe in a clinical question they can ask you like uh, this was injured and this passes through which foramen so you cannot miss such simple questions and then from histology I would like you to read the types of epithelium we often think it's a very easy thing to remember but it's not that easy so you have to remember all the types of the epithelium like esophagus has what kind like non keratinized keratinized stratified you have to remember all of that by heart very important thing okay so uh, looking at and yeah obviously the last the openings of the diaphragm very simple to remember but we often tend to, you know, be overconfident that we know that thing that T A T ten. You, you, we have to read it. We have to read it in the end. So, guys, this was it from anatomy. I know you can have many more points which you want to remember, which are volatile for you and which you want to remember in the last last days. But these were a few points from my side which you have to read in the last month. Okay, guys. So, all the very best, guys. Kill it.